Welcome back to Open Line. Metro Councilman uh, Steve Glover is here. Lots of calls. Um, let's go back. Let's go to David. David, thanks for waiting. What's on your mind? Yes. Go ahead. What's on your mind? I have thought, yes. Let me tell you something. There was a World Cup in, in the United States in, in 1994. I watched all of them. The World Cup is held every four years. And I watched every match that is played in the World Cup since then to today. I go to watch the Nigeria FC where they play. Right. And we watch this coming World Cup starting tomorrow. Every match. However, as much as I am an addict in soccer, I will not attend any soccer match played at the fairgrounds if the fairgrounds is taken. Taken, I, I get into this thing. Okay. Tell you why it is wrong. All right, well, let me. All right, so he's saying he's a huge fan. Yep. But he's saying he's not going to go to if the soccer games. If they use the fairgrounds. If they right. use the fairgrounds. Right. Another person who loves the fairgrounds. David, I appreciate that. Yes, thank um, you. Let's go, let's go to Joe on line four. Hello, Joe. Hello. Go right ahead. What's on your mind? Okay, just brief. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the, some of the failures we already have. <laughs> the baseball stadium. You can go down there and shoot a shotgun and you won't hit anybody sitting in the stands. That's been a big arbitrage. Uh, now is that true? Do you feel like that's, I feel like the sound stadium's done well, but uh, are there well, numbers we're, to we're, back up what you just said? We're subsidizing it still. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you think they're done well, go down there sometime and see how many people got sitting in the stands. Okay. Uh, they built a big parking garage for state employees and uh, uh, they can they can use it the days that the, st that the sounds are not playing a baseball. So otherwise, they got to park somewhere else. Then you got the Great Music City Center. Nobody will tell you it's never made a penny since they built it. It was way over budget. They was going to build it with local uh, people uh, out of the, the contractors and stuff in Nashville. They wound up building it out of people out of Texas and. All, all over the United States other than here. Uh, the stadium is falling down, the, the Titan Stadium. All right, well, let's take, let's take some of those because we're almost out of time. The convention center, it's hard to say it's never made a penny. What is your assessment of the finances of the convention center? If we didn't have the taxes on the hotel rooms and the other things that are, that are dedicated to pay those bonds, uh, we would not have the cash reserve we have today. If it had to sustain, uh, sustain itself by itself without any subsidies, uh, I would have to agree. I do not believe it would be profitable. But has it helped our city? Well, I mean, th the answer probably is yes. But to be able to put it down, I mean, I, we get reports every month that tell us, you know, how well we're doing off of it. But again, it kind of we get reports every month talking about how well we've done over the last few years, but yet we don't have money to give the cost of living adjustments. So and that's the bottom line. That's yeah. why there's so much frustration. Yeah. All right, we're gonna all right, we're gonna take a break. We'll come back. We'll wrap everything up. Be back right after this.